Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So today I'm gonna to give you my thoughts, kind of a review. I'm gonna go through some of the specs. It's not gonna be like a full product review because there's a ton of those out there and you can just check the website for all the nitty gritty details. But coming from a coffee connoisseur, someone who drinks a lot of coffee, I'm drinking six, eight, sometimes 10 coffee drinks a day. I've played with all the tools over the years. That's what she said. This is the Philips 3200 base model. They have two models in the 3200 series, and the only difference is one has fully automatic milk and coffee, and the other, which is this here, is just fully automatic coffee side. You can still do steam and froth milk, but it's just with a manual little steamer part that my wife put somewhere that I had in the drawer there. Anyway, it just clips on here, you know, like a normal espresso machine steamer, but I don't use any milk in my drinks. If I'm gonna use any kind of cream or milk, it's in an iced drink. So I don't do any hot cappuccinos or lattes, and this has never been important to me. So I saved 200 bucks. That's the difference between the two models of the 3200 series. And the 3200 series is really the sweet spot because you get all the automatic, and I mean fully automatic, coffee features. Now, I've been through all the tools, right? I've got drip, French press, percolator. The only one I don't currently have is a stovetop to make Cuban coffee because I'm type two diabetic and they should really rename Cuban coffee to <laughs> coffee flavored sugar. I love the stuff, but it tries to kill me. So that's the only thing I don't have. Um, I've got a bunch of manual or semi-automatic espresso machines, which I absolutely love. Quality wise, they do a great job. As long as you get one with a, at least 15 bar pressure pump or above, it's probably gonna be pretty good for you as far as quality. They don't always last though. And the cleanup is a nightmare. Every single time I wanna make a drink, I've got a bunch of cleanup because you gotta prep, you gotta grind, you gotta tamp, you gotta make sure everything's perfect, you gotta wash all that out, and then you gotta rinse everything when you're done. And it's just a pain in the butt. So I went to Keurig a while ago, I know, right? Ugh. I love the convenience of Keurig. K-Cups are awesome for that. One button, drink your coffee but they should just rename Keurig drinks coffee flavored water because that's all it is. You get no kick, you get hardly any flavor, but it's convenient. Well, I got tired of it. I really missed the quality. So I picked this up a while ago and let me tell you what, I love it. Short version, if you're a coffee guy like me, you are going to absolutely love this machine. Now there's a couple little things that you need to know about it, but the gist of it is, it is dead simple. This is a touch panel here. I'm going to turn it on. What it does is first go through a warm-up cycle. It's going to warm up and heat up the water. It's going to warm up the actual uh, mechanism so you're not getting a blast of cold drink coming out. And that's something you again have to do manually with a non-fully automatic machine. This will grind the beans internally, tamp the coffee into the holder, make the drink, either a single or a double shot automatically, don't have to do anything, and rinse itself out, and auto power itself out later on. It's just wonderful. You have a collection bin, which I'll show you. Right now it's going through the warm-up cycle. It's just basically pumping some hot water and steam through, get the mechanism up to temp. And when the lights all come on steady, it's ready for your input to actually make a drink. It's got a huge drip tray. I'll take it out and show you. It also collects all the grounds after it ejects it internally. Obviously it stores beans up top and it stores a real good amount. You're gonna get about 30 drinks per fill of this hopper. It doesn't look like it holds a lot and it doesn't. It, it's incredibly frugal with how many grounds it's getting to pack that cup. I was going through more beans doing it myself with my burr grinders. I don't know why, but it is fully adjustable. They do tell you to, look, try it for a month, right? They they said that they've adjusted everything perfectly from the factory. But if you do want to adjust the burrs, you can do so here. Something you need to know. Do not touch this and start playing around with it. I almost did, but I read the manual. You can only adjust it, you push it down and turn it like a childproof cap on a medicine bottle while it's grinding. You can't do it while it's off or not grinding. So you down and click one at a time 
and you can only do it while it's grinding. So you only get a couple seconds to make an adjustment on there, but I have not needed to. I don't need to touch that whatsoever. Oh, the other thing you might want to know, this is how much has been used here. I don't know, I've done about 10 cups, 10 drinks. Since I filled it up, it will kind of suck down here. And it looks like it may not start to feed this. And you may think, well, I gotta sweep these around. Kind of like a, a smoker, like my pit boss. I've got a, a hopper for the little wood pellets. And every so often you gotta open the lid there and you know get everything to feed right. You don't have to do it with here. It vibrates just enough so that when this gets down far enough, the beans just naturally fall in. You don't have to touch it. Even these will creep around. Works absolutely flawlessly. The other important thing you want to know, and uh, ask me how I know this, <laughs> this here, this little center tray, is for grounds. So you can use whole bean. Believe me, that is the way you want to go. It is so much better, and I'll talk about that in a second. But you can dump in a scoop at a time. They give you a special measuring scoop here. It's precisely the amount you need. So you can put in a single drink worth of grounds. That's, you know, in case somebody wants decaf or flavored coffee or whatever, you don't have to change your beans or anything like that. You can do one drink at a time in here. Now that looks like a hopper, right? I mean, it, it's big, it's got a chute, it's got a feed thing at the bottom. You'd figure, oh, I can just load that up with, you know, grounds and be ready for when people want that particular mix in there and be good to go. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. So right down there, that's just a straight chute down into the packing mechanism. And if there's more than one scoop in there, it gets clogged and this whole thing just backs up and you get hot water coming out because nothing is gonna get packed. And then you just have to slide everything out and clean that out and push all the grounds down into the tray to clean up because it will get messy. Now, why I say you're gonna wanna stick with the ground beans, because this is not consistent. Every time you pour a scoop of grounds down there, some of it sticks to the side and sticks to the chute from static electricity. If you've ground your own and you've got a plastic burr grinder uh, bin, which almost all of them are, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you gotta you know, tap it to get the rest out. Well, the same thing happens here. So you end up with some cups being a little lighter than others. And then when you know, a chunk falls in, maybe the, you know, a couple drinks down, it's different. So this works, but it's inconsistent and uh, you know, a little messy. This is 100% perfect, 100% the same every single drink. So stick with beans. Don't think you're gonna use this regularly with grounds. Now we're ready to brew here. We can make all these different coffee drinks, espresso, espresso lungo, coffee or Americano. And they're basically all the same thing with varying amounts of added water, right? The coffee is not your typical mug of coffee. It's more like half a mug, even on full size. The Americano is what here in the US we're used to as the amount of coffee. And it is definitely watered down the more you go up in the scale, right? You do get choices here for the amount of aroma or strength, and that is basically how much it's adding to tamp in your cup amount, which is how much water it's adding in, and your temperature. I found the best results just maxing them all out. That makes a two ounce espresso shot and it tastes perfect. There's absolutely no bitterness and it's exactly what you expect from any commercial you know, espresso drink place. So just max these three out, never have to touch it, and you're good to go. There's a built-in filter to the water, and if you need to descale it, it will automatically do that for you. You can steam manually, like I said, just pop in your thing, hit your steam if you want to do your milk. Now, the, the other model that's $200 more, it's completely hands-free even for the milk. You just have a container here, just like the water container that you fill with milk, and it will make your latte and espresso in the same glass without touching anything, completely automatic. When your milk's empty, you just rinse that out and snap it back in. But if that's not worth $200 for you, here you go. So here's another thing I found that is really handy. I've bought a few of these now to find one that works really well. It's simply a four ounce, a four and a half ounce, little pour cup, right? Now the problem I found was originally, I was just using you know, a little glass and I would pour my espresso into my bigger glass that I was making ice drink with, and it would dribble and it would make a mess. Well, that defeats the purpose of having 
you know, fully automatic thing and no mess to clean up. So I tried a couple of these and man, it's tough to find one that's got a correctly shaped spout that didn't dribble from it. This one's perfect. I'll put a link down below. The dispenser here is height adjustable. So you can put in larger size glasses. And the only reason you'd want to put it down low as possible is to prevent splatter. And it does help a little bit controlling the amount of foam that you get in there, but it doesn't make a huge difference. And I just kind of keep it in the middle. It fits all of the glasses that I use in here. So I'm gonna make a double shot espresso. Just tap it twice. You've got a double shot option for all of your coffee options here. And there are two spouts. So you can put two, I've got two, two ounces of uh, crafts like this. You can put two here and make two at once. Or you can just use the same one and get a double shot in the same cup. That's what I'm doing. And then you, if you want to, adjust your strength, water volume, and temp. Like I said, you don't need to once you set it and get it right. And you just click play. You, you press start. And if you, for any reason, need to stop it during a brew, you just press that again. So once you press it, it's going to grind the beans. It's going to put it in and tamp it automatically. It's going to start your brew. And after you're done, the lights go back and you can take a drink. Let me tell you what, this comes out super rich and creamy. I am not a black coffee drinker, but I can drink this black no problem. There's no bitterness. It is thick and rich, absolutely coats your palate. It's delicious stuff. So it finishes with the first. Now it's ejecting. Hopper on the inside, make sure you shine it. We'll do the second. You can see it's right around the two ounce mark there. By the way, these markings are not entirely accurate. I got multiple of these and they're all a little different actual physical size. <laughs> nah, that's China. What do you want? There we go. So it'll finish up here, give us our control back, and we can take our mug. Oh, I'm out of water. So that was good timing right at the end here. The water bin, let me move this out of the way. It's super easy. It's actually a lot like a Keurig. That's the one thing I wish was different. I wish it was larger. You only get uh, about six big cups of coffee out of it. You just pull it out here, the filter's in here, and that's about the size of it. So you can just fill it up with water. You don't have to use filtered water. You can pour regular tap in there and it goes through the aqua clean filter itself. I've got a filter here in the fridge so it gets double filtered. And I never have to descale my stuff. Anyway, that's all there is to filling the water. Now the drip tray, this is a little float. If it ever gets filled with water, this just kind of pops up. You don't have to worry about this though. It does collect a lot and it's never so much that you need to change this or it's gonna overflow because it also has a detection here for when your grounds collection is full. And that's also in the drip tray right here. So that's where it pushes everything down to and it'll tell you when to empty that and you can empty the drip tray at the same time. And that's all it takes for that. So you put your water back in. Obviously, normally I have it full, but for the purposes of this video, it's good enough. It just slides in. And we'll just finish its cycle there. I think it was done, just in case. Put that back under. Tell it to continue. 
You only have to do that if it gets interrupted like that. Yeah, that finished right at the end, so that was good. Might just have a dribble come out. Nope, nothing, so there we're done. Buttons are back to normal, and you can take a drink. It works like a treat, but most importantly, the quality of the result is awesome. You can play with your beans. This is, you know, good enough. It's obviously not boutique quality, but it's really good. The whole bean dark espresso from eight o'clock, man. I tell you what, if you can find it in stores, it's kind of hard to find in bean. It's easy to find in ground. Sometimes I see Walmart has it and uh, used to have it at a store that we used to live by, but not anymore. I get it on Amazon. I'll put a link down to that. Very inexpensive for really good quality. But if you want to use the boutique stuff, you're going to pay a lot more for it. And it is better, but trust me, for every day, this is a steal. And, uh, man, if you guys got any questions about it, let me know. But I highly recommend it. It's doing me very well. And that's what it's all about right there. Love it. See you guys next time.